Welcome to this week's snippet. This is where we get down and dirty on a specific topic. And today's topic, are you taking too much folic acid? I'm Dr. Ben Lynch, and this is the Dirty Genes Podcast. So what do you think? Do you think that you are taking too much folic acid? Folic acid is a problem. And I want to share with you that folic acid is heavily consumed across the world. But I just want to answer the specific question right now, are you consuming too much folic acid? So what is defined as consuming too much? I mean, what is too much folic acid? You're probably looking for a multivitamin that's got 400 micrograms a day of your folic acid because that's what you hear. Public health is saying, harping on you, you got to take your 400 micrograms of folic acid. You need it for healthy hair, nails, skin, right? We all want vibrant hair and nails. Now, what about pregnancy? Pregnancy, you're told to take 800 micrograms a day and breastfeeding the same. So what do you think the upper limit is or too much folic acid? According to the Institute of Medicine back in 1998, kind of aged, huh? A 1,000 micrograms a day of folic acid is the upper limit for adults. So anything over the set upper limit of a 1,000 micrograms a day for an adult is excessive. It's too much. You're taking your multivitamin, got 400 micrograms in it. Possibly, you're probably taking it every day. But what about those energy drinks that you pick up at 2 o'clock in the afternoon or 3 o'clock or 4 o'clock for that pick-me-up? And you're looking for the healthier ones. You're looking for the no sugar ones. But if you spin the bottle around, there might be some with added B vitamins in there. You look at the label and you're like, damn, it's got folic acid. Or you toss the energy drinks because, you know, you switched over to optimal electrolyte at Seeking Health and that's been helping you out. And you grab an energy bar and you're looking for organic, you know, no sugar, healthy carbs. And you flip the package over. What do you see? 100 micrograms of folic acid, 200 micrograms of folic acid. And then you go out to dinner and you order some chow mein and breads and what have you. You're getting additional folic acid. This is all on top of the multivitamin that you're taking every day. So you can see pretty quickly, you can be over the limit of the 1,000 micrograms a day of folic acid. Let's look at some statistics right now. And this paper was just published back in 2020, and it was from a meeting at the National Institutes of Health, and they sat down and they had a great discussion about folic acid, which I'm very thankful for. And the paper is called Knowledge Gaps in Understanding the Metabolic and Clinical Effects of Excess Folates and Folic Acid, a Summary and Perspectives from an NIH Workshop. So given that folic acid is mandated in over 80 countries, possibly your own, you're getting folic acid probably every day inside of you. So how many people, including yourself, are over the upper limit? We have 5% of American men and women aged 51 to 70 have folic acid levels over the upper limit. That's not bad. And primarily it's from supplement intakes. Now, if you use the adult upper limit and you adjust it accordingly for children, then you can look at how many children are over the upper limit. Now, the upper limit for folic acid in kids is not 1,000 micrograms a day. It's adjusted based upon their age. So nearly all children aged 1 to 8 who consume 200 micrograms of folic acid a day have total intakes that exceed the upper limit. So a child that consumes 200 micrograms from a dietary supplement is already being found to be over the upper limit, which is amazing. So why? Well, because of the foods that we eat, the foods that are fortified. So if you are supplementing your kid with a multivitamin as a good parent, you want to nourish your child, you're giving them a multivitamin with folic acid in it. It might have 200 micrograms, it might have 100, it might be 200, 300, 400, whatever. Then they're getting the energy bar for after school sports. 
they're getting the energy drink for after school sports or maybe even lunch. They're getting the goldfish in the plastic lunch bags. They're getting the breads on their sandwiches, which are enriched with folic acid. They're getting a maybe a gluten-free tortilla wrap, you know, with some ham and lettuce and mayonnaise on it. You flip over the package of the gluten-free tortilla that's made from organic grains. You're like, damn, it's organic, it's gluten-free, but it's still got folic acid. Yep. So the, the amount of folic acid your child is getting is most likely in excess of the upper limit. So when you're buying your snacks, whether they're gluten-free, non-GMO, organic, free of artificial colors, sugars, what have you, you need to be starting to really look at the amount of folic acid your kid is getting. And it might be cool and scary to be writing down on your phone, just open a little note and start adding up how much folic acid you or your child is getting. And you might be surprised at how much it is. Now, if your child is an infant, this is right here, 100% of the folate in most commercial infant formulas is in the form of folic acid. And they are generally higher in folic acid content than human breast milk. Oh, so we thought that by putting more folic acid in infant formula is better than what natural selection has offered the human civilization, the human race for many, many millennia. We decided to put in more than it's found in breast milk. Wow. Okay. Women frequently consume quantities of folic acid that exceed the upper limit during pregnancy. Ladies, listen up. 33% of pregnant U.S. women in the United States exceed the upper limit for folic acid. Among supplement users, that number increases to 47%. Why? Because you're told to. You're told to take the prenatal with 800 micrograms of folic acid, and then you have to eat. So yeah, you're over the upper limit. And if you've had a recurrent miscarriage or if you had a miscarriage, you're told to take four milligrams of folic acid. So yeah, why? Because you're told to. Notably, all U.S. women of reproductive age capable of getting pregnant are recommended to supplement with four to 800 micrograms of folic acid, but most prenatal supplements contain 800 to 1,000 because if 800 is good, 1,000 is better, right? Well, not so fast. Without the use of dietary supplements, almost 40% of U.S. women of reproductive age do not meet the requirement for sufficient folate. Well, there lies a conundrum. So you're, you're thinking, well, what the heck do I do? If 47% of women who are pregnant are in excess of the upper limit for folic acid, but then we also have 40% of pregnant women who have too low of folic acid in their body. Almost 40%, here's the difference, almost 40% of U.S. American women of reproductive age do not meet the requirement for folate intake. Not folic acid intake, folate intake. Big difference. Folate, natural, found in in real food that, you know, grows on trees and comes out of the ground, that kind of folate, whereas synthetic folic acid comes from a lab. So 40% of pregnant women are getting insufficient levels of folate. So you run to the store and you buy a prenatal with folic acid in it to up your folate levels in order so you can be sufficient. Well, if folic acid is not really folate, then no, that's not what you do. You're still confused. Folic acid is a synthetic form of folate that is not used by the body biologically very well at all. So if you are in that 40% of statistics where you are looking for a prenatal to up your folate levels, you should be heading over to seekinghealth.com and looking at our prenatal vitamins there because we actually provide you true folate. We do not use folic acid in any supplement at Seeking Health, none. But if you want to go to restaurants 
which I do, if you want to go on vacation, which I do, and most likely you do as well, and you want to have a food that's convenient at times, you're going to be exposing yourself and your kids to folic acid. The point is, I want you to be mindful of how much folic acid you are getting. Ideally, it's as low as you comfortably, without going insane, can ingest. Don't be that person who counts every microgram. And if you're under the upper limit by, you know, two micrograms, you're good. Ideally, you get as little folic acid as you can. And the easiest way to do that is just to buy whole foods. It's just to buy food that literally comes from the planet, it comes from trees, the ground, uh, and animals. So, if you do that, you're going to be getting sufficient natural folates. And when you go and you do buy a synthetic energy bar or processed food, then that little bit of folic acid isn't going to be a big issue. Unless you have a significant disorder where you can't have any folic acid, your health professional will steer you in that direction. Thank you. And share, like, and write a comment on this podcast.